Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Um, been busy for the past couple days putting together my um, Langmire Crossfire Pro CNC plasma table. I give you a view of it. Um, it's all uh, assembled. I incorporated the um, drag chains on the X and Y axis, um, that DNN custom um, designs had on his YouTube channel. Um, his, his implementation was pretty slick, so that's what exactly what I did. And then um, on another channel, guy had a um, sprayer tank, so I've got the sprayer tank um, plumbed in underneath the table so that I can drain the table into the tank and then use the pump on the tank to refill the table. And I also um, installed um, sink drains. These are um, bar sink drains. So I've got a little basket which comes out that you can catch as a debris when you drain the table. And then it's got a gasket around this plug which should stop, you know, hold water in the table. So that um, solves the problem with the, um, the stock plug, which leaves, you know, good bit of water in the table. So this is almost flush with the, with the table. And I've, I used RTV um, around these drains. I used RTV, black RTV on the, um, joint between the table halves um, rather than the silicone that that came in in the kit so I'm gonna go ahead and run got uh, the cross the got the fire control software installed and I'll go ahead and just run the um, break-in program and All right, so um, everything seems to be working. I do not have my um, plasma cutter. I ordered the Razor Weld 45, which is the um, standard plasma cutter that um, Langmire sells. It has, it's a plug and play um, plasma cutter. So that hasn't come yet. Um, it took me, um, today's Tuesday, basically, um, four sessions, probably four, three or four hours each session. So, um, I don't know, 12, 15 hours to do the assembly here. Now I did build a, um, metal, uh, frame goes around the base and put um, three inch steel casters on it, which, you know, lets the, lets the whole table roll very easily on the floor. Put a piece of plywood under there to hold the tank and I'll, it'll also hold the plasma cutter. Um, maybe should have used metal, um, rather than wood, but I think it'll be, it'll be fine. So the last thing I have to do is, um, run this hose up to a fitting or something over the lip of the table in the back to refill it and 
set a battery on here or a 12 volt power supply to run the run the sprayer tank pump um, so um, that those 12 or 15 hours included you know at least a couple hours to you know build this lower frame put put the casters on it get the table on that and then I don't know two or three hours to install the um, drag chain these um, aluminum channels which are mounted above the the rail um, and this aluminum channel you know mounted on the end here install the chains and run the cables through them so um, and then also you know I spent a little bit of time to go buy a three and a half inch hole cutter to a hole saw to cut the holes for these drains um, so trip to the hardware store for the hole saw and um, so I mean of the assembly time the 15 or 16 maybe 16 hours that I have spent working on this um, I would say you know at least six hours probably put into you know building this the support stand and the drag chain arrangement so in terms of assembling the unit 10 10 or 12 hours so when I get the um, plasma cutter and get my first couple of cuts made um, I'll bring you back and share that with you um, so as I said before I'm not going to do any kind of a review of this um, it looks like a, a you know pretty cool piece of equipment all right so thanks for watching hit the thumbs up and share the video um, and subscribe if you haven't uh, once I get the plasma cutter in here and um, make a couple of test cuts um, we'll be getting close to um, putting it putting it to use so all right thanks for watching see you guys next time